He has so much to say. I know, buddy. It's okay. So much to say. Nice. I've kind of had, like, a rough go at things the last couple of weeks, I'm not going to lie. Um, transitioning into March has been, like, wild. Fuck it. We're just going to start with Mario Brothers. I didn't know which Mario game I was going to start with. But fuck it. Why not start with, uh... The One. You know? A game that I've played more times than I can even fathom to count. Because I used to play this game, like... All the time when I lived in Idaho for, like... Some strange reason, Idaho was, like, my NES era. Like, I also played a lot of SNES games. Um, but, like... I played the fuck out of Mario 1, because we had an S, uh, we had an S, we had a NES for a little while, and then we had, um, they had it at the Boys and Girls Club that I went to, they also, hold on, I never tweeted out that I was live, guess who's playing Mario games, hold on, <clears throat> I do not want to die, <laughs> Mario games on Mario Day? Me. <laughs> I look like... I look like an NPC in a video game. That, like, generic gamer dude. Um, and it's because, like, I only own two Mario shirts. And the other one's a Yoshi shirt. So I was like, you know what? I'll at least wear my Mario shirt that has Mario on it. Because I like Mario, but I just don't own a lot of Mario stuff. Uh, Mario is not my favorite Nintendo franchise. You could argue he's not even in my top three uh, Nintendo franchises. I was like, why aren't you charging? But I still enjoy a lot of Mario's games. And like Mario games have been like fundamental... As it has to many video game guys, video game players, video game people. You know? Like, who doesn't, who doesn't, who doesn't know Mario? Like, I feel like streaming this game, if it's not Mario 35, rest in peace. Like, who, who, how many people on average do you think stream Mario 1? Like, today's an exception, because I'm sure a lot of people are streaming Mario 1. Because it's like... It's just a really comforting game to sit down and play. But, um... Outside of March 10th. Oh, the delay is killing me. I, I usually can, like, run this level. Hold on, let, let's try switching it. I got a delay on this on this view. Let's switch it to this one. Everybody, Supersonic Racing. Oh, I gotta open this drink, too. I'm at the halfway point. Is there still kind of a tiny delay? No, I just... I think I've lost it. I used to take the warp to 4-1 all the time when I was younger, and I learned- I used to hate 4-1 because of Lakitu. He, he used to stress me the fuck out when I was a kid. And, um, I learned the, the piranha plant window for the jumps because I just wanted to run through this level. I wanted to get through it when I was a kid. I used to- I used to also play this game with my mom on the Wii. Damn it! Actually, I played this last year. I beat this March 3rd of last year. I, I, it was the last time I beat Mario 1. It's been a year. Let's play Mario 1 again. <laughs> I just get the itch to play this game so much. Oh my god, now I'm fucking up. So egregiously. That's fine. We'll do a little... Do a little game over, dude. But yeah, I used to play this game with my mom on the virtual console. On the Wii. And, uh... Those are good times. 
I actually wanted to record this. I, I wanted to record us playing Mario 1 for the channel. I think I did. I think I recorded, like, an episode that I never ended up editing and putting live. Because I was, like, during an era of my life when I was just, like, having a meltdown. <laughs> But I've streamed- I, I know I've streamed Mario 35, but I'm sure I've streamed Mario 1 at some point. If I haven't, that's kind of wild. Yeah, I used to have a NES as well. Uh, when we lived in Idaho, we got a NES from a yard sale. And we got- this was one of, like, the five games that I had. It was this, Adventures of Low Lolo. Um, Mario 3, Turtles. Uh, the arcade port, not the original, or not the first game. Not the first NES game. Um, and I think, not Mario 2, but we had something else too. I'm, I'm just, I'm just fucking up today. But I, um, yeah, I love Mario 1. Also, it says I'm playing Tetris, or it doesn't even say I'm playing anything, I don't think. Because they changed that. Uh, Super Mario Brothers. How many people are streaming Super Mario Brothers right now? 171 people are watching Mario Brothers right now, or are streaming Mario Brothers. Hey, thanks for the follow, Jasmine. Mario 2 is whatever uh doki doki panic is like a cool like game style and i like what mario 2 added to added to the mario like uh universe but i think it's the worst of the trilogy i think three is like one of the best mario games um i think world is better but I like, I like, uh, I like Mario 2 a decent amount. It's not like a bad game. I think it's, I think it's on like a ranking scale, probably as good as the first Mario. It's got some interesting like mechanics and stuff. There you go. There you go. I got the window. I always hated this level. So I had to do that. To, to get past it. What's up, Brady? Good morning, my dude. Got everybody here today. It's Mario Day. I look like an NPC. I have this sick game request for you. Play my game Jump Dude and get a score of seven. It's like some shitty Tony Hawk minigame. I should get this mushroom, but I'm not going to. I should also go for this. And I am going to. Because I want... Shit. Yeah, I would agree. It is very much more a vertical game. Um, like, consistently. I just prefer the horizontal style of Mario 1 and 3. Like, that's the thing. Like, I enjoy what Mario 2 does for verticality for what Mario 1 does for horizontally? Horizontality? The hell? What, what's that word? Um, I just prefer left to right scrollers over vertical scrollers, personally. Like, I like vertical scrolling games. Like, uh... Obviously, the, a lot of the space shooters and stuff I enjoy. Um, oh, I should have just ran. I'm a dumbass. I'm just thinking about words while playing Mario, so I'm like, I'm more anxious about running. Also, I really wish that I had my, my shit set up a little better. Because it's like, it's not at a good angle for me to read, I'm not going to lie. And I want to see what you lovely people are saying. That was a gamer moment, flying through 4-1. Because I used to hate playing that level 
when I was a kid, because Lakitu f terrified me when I was younger. Like, that guy throws guys at you! And he sucks! Oh god. I was, like, anticipating it, because there is no just, like, relief. There's no just relief from the madness. Eighth world, it's nothing but chaos incarnate, dude. This world sucks. There's a reason why it's the last world in the game. I know, Mac. It's tough, man. It's a tough level. I know. Hey, it's wild. And we're not at the end yet. And they're so long. These levels are so friggin' long, dude. Man, yeah, just fall off your ledge, dude. I told him, and he did. Ha! Oh, God. I fucking hate... The eighth world in Mario. <laughs> oh man, he is so frustrating. We did it. We beat eight one. Oh my god, Jasmine, do you want to see Mac? Hold on, I'll get Mac. I'm just casually beating Mario one, guys. Hold on. <laughs> I'm doing it the easy way, I don't care. It's Mario Day, I play how I want to. Look at this boy. Look at this boy. Okay, okay, buddy. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's okay. They wanted to see you. They wanted to say hello. He's in his menace mode. He's being a monster, Mac. So, that's why he was not in here. But, we are... Chilling now. Oh, he's sitting on my lap. Okay. You want to sit in my lap while I play Mario? Well, well, I need to close the door and grab my controller, but I don't want to move you. So you guys are going to see some magic here real quick. Maybe. If he'll... If he's still going to be chill. You going to be chill? I'm going to scoot with him in my lap. I'm going to try to anyway. His toy is on my... No, that's not going to work. Something's caught up on something. I'm just gonna stand up. I'm gonna close this. We're gonna we're gonna chill. If you act if you act a little goofy, it is casting out then. Time for you. Alright, let's go back to beating Mario. Can we do it? Will we beat Mario? Honestly, I don't know if I will. Just cause eight. One, I don't remember. I don't remember the Bowser Castle sequence. Also, this is another Lakita level. I fucking hate 8 2. Ah! Hey, buddy. He's like, you're screaming in here. And it's stressing me out, man. Oh, God. It is a little distracting to have a cat love upon you. While you're trying to kill it, Mario. You gotta give him some love. You gotta just give him some love, guys. You gotta just chill with your cat. Give him some love. Let him relax. He's all wound up. It's okay, buddy. He's a good boy. He's, he's a very sweet boy. He's very loving. And he's very caring. When he wants to be. He can be a little monster mag sometimes. He gets in his monster mode, and it's like... There's a bullet bill over there. I don't... I don't not see you. I see you, man. I also see you, man. Mac was going to some suspicious areas. He's chilling in a suspicious zone. Yep. Nope. That's a big no. That's a big no-no. That's a no-no guy. Oh, that's a no-no time. Juggling being a cat owner and a professional, non-professional. I'm a professional, non-professional, okay? Look at how I do this, okay? I found a drawing I made in first grade where I drew a scene of this level. What part of the level was it? Was it this part? Because I feel like this would be fun to draw as a kid. I know, Mac. You were loving the limelight, and you were loving access. 
to these wires, buddy. He's been getting real chewy on these wires, so I've, I've had to be really alert with him in here. And it's a lot. It is. Should have just stayed where I was. That was fine. I think I'm screwed. I was screwed. I needed to run from the pipe, I think. Eight two, man. Eight two is a killer. Nice. I mean, it's 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 a dynamic part of the level because you got the bouncing turtle guy, the Koopa Troopa. You got Lakitu, and you got like weird stairs. I'm getting weird stairs. Um. But because I beat this last year, I feel I don't feel as bad about that. We'll get we'll do this one more time. I'm gonna be jumping around a lot today. I'm gonna play a little bit of this just to kind of get the get the juices going. It was either gonna be this or Dr. Mario, and I'm not good at Dr. Mario, and I'd rather not. I'd rather look good at Mario One than look bad at Dr. Mario. I don't know why I ever bother with the mushrooms. All right. They don't ever do me any good. They just give me a buffer. And I don't... If I just jump better, I don't need a buffer, man. <laughs> um, I'm playing a little bit of this. I'm going to play some Mario Kart 8 online. Uh, I might play some Mario Maker 2. And I'm also going to be starting a new playthrough today. I'm going to be starting Paper Mario 1. Because I've never played Paper Mario 1. And I want to. I played Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door on the stream forever a fucking yo, it feels like at this point. And I want to play its first iteration. Now. I've been craving an RPG. And what better place to go than a Mario RPG? I've never played Paper Mario 1. I've only ever played the Thousand Year Door and it was on stream with you guys. The only Mario RPGs I have any uh, familiarity with and have played are uh, Superstar Saga and uh, Legend of the Seven Stars and now Thousand Year Door. I know, it's wild. I need to play more Mario RPGs, Mac. You're not wrong, buddy. You're not. You're very right. You're speaking the truth. You are. You're speaking the truth, man. You're doing a great job, too. I know. I'm excited to play, um... Also, just another RPG on the, on the N64. A console notorious for not many of those. Also, I'm only playing like this because of the delay. And, like, the platforming is so like threading needles sometimes in Mario 1 and I'd rather not die due to a second and a half delay cuz you know I fucked up I know buddy <laughs> It's okay He's just being a little goober I want to get this one I want to get this one and that one this over here. I want to make a wall out of this. I don't know where the where the thing ends. Oh, it just ends there? That's cool. I know, it ends there. It's wild. That's how I know. Because <laughs> I do treat him like when a kid says something just to like, because they're saying something. Like when a baby just like learns to say a word, so they just say that word all the time because it gets them like acknowledgement. They don't even know what words mean yet. They just know that they're saying a sound that gets people very excited. That's what he's, it feels like that's what he's doing. Cause he just wants me to know that he's there. He just wants me to know that he's all right. And he wants, he wants to know that I'm okay. 
And it's okay. It's okay. It is. I know. I know, buddy. <laughs> he just sometimes will just do one that's just really funny. No! That's a big no. I know. I hear you. Oh god. And by proxy to 4181 is also a level that I feel like I know like the back of my hand at this point because I've done this warp so many times, you know. It's 82 when things just get really tragic, you know. It's true. 82 is when things get just deathly tragic. Just gonna get knocked off. Oh god. <laughs> Fuck! I was right there! That blows. It's okay. I hate that we start from the fucking beginning though. fine. It's not even that big a deal. It's really not. It's not like I invested the time to get through the entire game. Like, I blew through this in, like, five minutes. You know, that's the beauty of Mario 1. Uh, there's no other Mario games I want to play for the NES, but I do want to play a little Mario Kart, so I'm gonna cue that up. I'm gonna move this back over here. I've got, a. Um... I've got a little setup on my table. I've got a little, uh, my Switch is now, like, right next to me. So I can switch games a lot easier, the physical ones, if I can just get my card slot thing open on the on the Switch. Because Mario Kart is one of the games I have physically on a cartridge. Nope. I was trying to play Fortnite last night, and it was down, and I was shocked. I was like, damn. Do I have an update? I have an update. Let's close this, and let's hang out with Mac while the update downloads. How's that sound? I think that sounds gravy to me. I just don't have anything to put, like, background music on. It's a shame. Actually, hold on. I can do this. I lied. <clears throat> I'm going to connect you to that. And then we will... Got it. I know, buddy. I know. He is so excited. He heard me say he's coming in here. Do a little bit of this. There you go. A lot of downloads. A little just chatting. I know this isn't Mario music, but Mario music isn't on Spotify, I don't think. Hello, buddy. That's interesting. What made you like pick those candy bars specifically? You want your chair? Is that all you want? It's just sit in your chair. He hates when I sit down, and that's really annoying to me sometimes. Because I like to sit down. <laughs> he doesn't hate when I sit down. 
But like sometimes he'll want to sit down and he doesn't want me to sit down. And it's like, dude, that's not going to happen. <laughs> I'm going to sit the fuck down. I could literally listen to the soundtrack all day. I could listen to this song all day. It's just so good. Oh, I had a sick circuit and I've been playing a lot of F-Zero lately and I've been having some sick uh, laps. Like my rotation of my free time is kind of chaotic right now. I'm playing Metroid Prime Remastered. I'm playing Tetris as like my wind down game. And like, I'm playing F-Zero X to like beat it. And I'm on the expert rounds. It's tough, man. It's really not easy. I'm actually gonna pick that. Why did I pick that? I meant this. I was playing Mario 1, cause, or Mario 64, cause that's another game. Another Mario game I played the hell out of. It's fucking hilarious to have all these random ass Tetris clips. Sick Tetris clip, bro. You really cleared those lines, my guy. What update do I have? Did the new courses come out and I just missed it? Did I just not acknowledge that I that the game the courses came out or did they come out today? Cuz it made sense. Like I was thinking in my mind I was like did the courses drop today? All right, let's let's put the kibosh on the music. Yeah, that's something I'm definitely gonna do more. Just have like that soundtrack on standby. This is literally all he wanted, which is this. Mario Kart, Mario Kart Eight. Eight. Woohoo! Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. There's a lot of people playing this game. Because of course there are. Did the courses come out though? Hold on. They they had to have, because Birdo's here. Alright, so we're going to do a little DLC dive today. We're going to play a little uh, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I guess. Uh, where is my... Car that I like to use. Oh, this is one that I like to use. Uh... Slick? I want the purple slick one. Yeah, the, the cyber slick. That's still not really what I want. My acceleration's way too low. Now this is the one I like to use. Yeah! Here they are. Nice! Alright. They should have a bunny link. Let's do... Damn! This is exactly what I wanted. Alright, cool. Little DLC dive today. A little pocket DLC dive in the Mario Day stream. Slash the first Mar Paper Mario session, I guess. <laughs> I'm going to be going till like 2.30, by the way. I'm going to be streaming for a little while today. I don't know what I was doing. I don't know why I did that. Another Mario Kart Tour track. Again, they've been really throwing Tour out there. Like, they're like, we want you guys to know this mobile game exists, and we want you to indulge in it, maybe. Oh, 
Although, honestly, I would also just like them to add other Mario characters, too. Like, I don't know. I, I think the roster of this game could use with a retooling, to be honest. As far as, like, Mario Kart rosters go, 8 is not my favorite roster. It's not my least favorite, but it's also, like, it feels like a roster that, th at this point in the in the series' career, shouldn't be this lacking in, like, variety. Like, I think that adding non-Mario characters like Link and Villager is cool, and I think that, obviously, Captain Falcon should be here because... Oh! We're going to, like, a different vibe. Okay. Um, we're getting frame drops because, of course, we are. Um... But I think that it's... I think it's cool that they're adding Birdo. Birdo should have been in the game to begin with. On, speaking of Mario 2 representation, like... Birdo is a great addition to the Mario series from Mario 2. Um... Like, I don't know. I... Yeah, Birdo is a must. And there's a lot of other Mario characters and Mario-adjacent characters that feel missing. You know? Oh, dude, we're driving into oncoming traffic. Holy shit. That's actually kind of cool. I actually really like that. That's, that's sick as hell. Yeah, they should definitely bring more from Mario 2, honestly. Like, Wart. Bring Wart in. That'd be cool as hell. Wart, Captain Falcon, Funky Kong. Those are my, <laughs> those are my predictions for the Mario Kart 8 roster DLC updates. I think Magikoopa should actually be added because Magikoopa was supposed to be in a um, Mario 64, Mario Kart 64, and ended up not in the game. Like, I think Gold Peach and Gold or Metal Mario are weird additions to this game. Mac, come on, buddy. You're being such a good boy. You're being such a good boy. Riverside Park from uh, GBA, which you can now play on the Switch if you've got the, um, the thing the expansion pass. So if you haven't played Super Circuit, I highly recommend doing so. Because it's like a... It's like a... It's got like a soft remake of Super Mario Kart in it. Because all the tracks from that game are in uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. Fun fact. That was how I played the Super Circuit tracks as a kid. Because I didn't have a Super Nintendo. Um, so, what was I going to say? So I didn't play Super Mario Kart until I was older. Sorry, I'm, I'm concerned about Mac because I don't know where he's at. So I'm like, I'm shifting into like, he's back there. He's fine. Concerned pet owner mode. <laughs> I was like, where the hell did this cat go? Like, I think Dry Bowser makes a little sense. You know, in the same vein of having, like, a Baby Mario. Like, a Dry Bowser. Like, another Bowser variant's fine. But I think Baby Peach is also in this game. So you've got Baby Peach, Gold Metal Peach. You've got Cat Mario. Like, I don't think Cat Mario is really all that necessary, to be honest. Could have been, could have been a costume on the character. Didn't need to be... On... Uh, their own character slot. Also, this is a cool level. Like, I, I can't complain about how this looks. This is a really cool looking level. I like how they've adapted all of the atmospheres from Mario Kart Super Circuit into their own nice levels. Like, you had Boo Lake. You've got Riverside Park. They did the, the ice one. And I like how they've incorporated assets from, like, the Super Mario Kart, uh palettes onto this, you know what I mean? 
like they have the blocks from Super Circuit in, or from a uh, Super in Super Circuit levels. I think that's a really nice touch to kind of show that they are kind of in, in partners of each other. They're cut from the same cloth, you know what I mean? This is a cool level, though. This is a really nice, fun level. I like this a lot. This isn't like my favorite ad adaptation that I played, but I think it's really cool. I was so caught up on the discussion of the roster, I got kind of sidetracked on talking about the level. This I'm excited about. This is my favorite Donkey Kong level, and I'm excited that they've added it in this game. I really enjoyed this level, and uh, I'm excited to see what they may have changed about it. Anti-freeze. The DK Cannon. Get shot. They've added both courses, all the courses from Wii that I like. Because they added Coconut Mall, they added uh, Maple Treeway, and they added this. Look at that Donkey Kong! Oh, that's, so, that's sick. Donkey Kong and a snowboard. Oh, we got the hills. This is great. These look awesome, by the way. Like, the graphics in this game are honestly pretty, pretty solid. They get a lot out of a little, sometimes. Damn it. It's fine. Like, this is uh, Donkey Kong's attempt at, like, a stadium level. And I think it's a really good one. I think it's a very fun level to drive on. The DK Cannon. Let's get a little jump on. Oh, dude, somebody stole my coin, you dick. Nice. Mac, I see you back there, buddy. You're not supposed to be up there, buddy. Get frame drops. You love to see it, honestly. Only you don't. Like, I'm actually not into all of this. <laughs> I hate how many drop frames I'm having right now. Editing this VOD is going to be a nightmare. I think it's because it didn't install the updates that it was supposed to last night. My computer needs to update, and I thought I set it to do that when I went to bed, and I did not. Hold on. After this race, I'm going to uh, get him out of here, because he's hopping on stuff again. I'm going to uh, reattune the setup again. He's Max out of his chair. And then we will play the rest of the circuit. This is just so fun to do, man. It's such a good level. Such a fun level design. Your day of reckoning is here, Mac. Yes. Your day of reckoning. You're being banished from the office. And that's that. I think we got one more level. I know. He's immediately upset. But he knows what he did. He knows what he wasn't supposed to do. He knows he's being a little monster. He's getting into monster territory. He's revving up to be a little a little stinker. He knows. He knows. I'm 
Now this is an original level based on one of my favorite games of all time. Well, not, no, this is Yoshi's, yeah, this is Yoshi's Island. I love Yoshi's Island. It's one of my favorite games on the SNES. One of the best looking games on the SNES, hands down. I'm very excited to play this level. I've already noticed some of the little Easter eggs. I see you back there. Yeah, look at these. This is awesome, dude. Oh no! I was just gonna start me back there, nice. They make the sound. Guys. They make the coin get sound. Oh, I thought I could hit that. Dude. Oh, they're Yoshi coins! Bro! You can fly into that? Oh, dude. It's on. It's on like Yoshi's Island. Oh, I love that it makes the sound. I love the coin get sound from this game. It's so satisfying. It's so good. Got more bombs. Oh, I love this. I love the way this looks, dude. This looks so good. All right, I'm going to try. Oh, never mind. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna try and do shit because I'm getting knocked down. Oh, I bet you at the end there's gonna be a jump there, and I jump into that at the end, and it's the end of the lap. I guarantee you that's what that is. Because they've been doing above and beyond shit with some of these courses, man, and I really like this course. This course is very, very cool. God, and the music is great. got a good swing to it. It's so good, man. This is great. Oh. If I hit that, I guarantee you that's what activates it. We're going to do that in time trial. We're gonna do that in the time trial mode. I'm just gonna finish this race for now. But that's gotta be it. You've gotta hit that. Um... <sighs> it's got the music! Oh! I love this. That's a game. I did that I love this level on it, but I genuinely, like... Yoshi's Island is like one of the best platformers ever. It, the the look, the soundtrack, the sound design, everything about that game is just so well done. That was a good course to pay tribute to that. That was a lot of fun. That was that was a fun level. It was a fun little course. It was. I know. I know, buddy. I know. It's okay. We are going to be Link again. Because of course we are. What do we get? Oh, we got a flower glider. That's cool. I actually kind of like that. We're going to roll with that. And then we're going to do the boomerang cup, which has another tour level, a DS level, a double dash level, and another tour level. Tour, tour level. I think you would love that game. Like, I think you would really, really enjoy that game. It's a great game. And it seems very up your alley in some regards. Like, I think that's very much a game that you would enjoy. Um, the bosses are really cool. It's just, it's a well, it's got one of my favorite, like, final bosses in a Mario game. Like, the Bowser fight in that game rips. The music is good. 
the like the 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 what it is is nice. It's a very imaginative game, Mario uh, or Yoshi's Island. We're gonna drop a little bomb. I've never thought I'd get a level this tight of cor corners. Like a Mario Kart level. Because this is like factoring modern engineering into it and like road work and stuff. Yeah, no, I agree. The flower looks good with it. It's a, it's a good it's a good choice. Damn it! These fucking blue shells, man, are coming all over the place, man. It's ridiculous. Hold on one second. Yeah, that looks really nice. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, to be honest. There's crabs on the streets, what? That's a cool little shortcut. Cool little drift shortcut. I feel like this on 200cc would be so hard. Because of how tight these corners are. Ooh, no, 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 no. Damn it. We're going through a parking garage. Again, bigger emphasis on those tight corners, man. Whoa, this is cool. That's cool. I like the music here too. The music here is really nice. I'm really bad at drifting through this. It's alright. We didn't need to be. We got through it. Mario Circuit from DS. Now, I don't remember this level at all. <laughs> Unless, is this the a figure eight? No, it's not. I do not remember this level whatsoever from Mario Kart, or from Mario Kart DS. The music sounds familiar. I'm gonna have to play Mario Kart DS. Oh, wait. Oh, they did like a lot of reimagining with this one, okay. Cause like the pipe kind of sounds, fam looks familiar. I think I remember this level. For as much as I love DS, I just don't remember Mario Circuit in it. Like there's some levels that they've added from DS, obviously outside of uh, Waluigi Pinball that I do remember, but the Mario circuit from that game, I do not remember as vividly. It's partially because it had Yoshi circuit. That game had like the best circuit course on it. You asshole. I like those fire flowers. Those, those piranha plants are doing some, some nice work there. Look at those mushrooms just chilling. There's a Wiggler in there. Is that Wiggler gonna come out on the third lap? Maybe. Oh, let's just be an absolute menace. Someone's gonna get one of those. I just realized how far ahead I was in the in the race. I'm about to lap eighth place. And that that 
uh, Blue Shell has had to go around the entire course just to get to me. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, it is a DS course after all. Even if I don't remember it, some part of my brain has to, you know. That's another Mario Kart game that I just played to death. The Wiggler is out! Look at that! It's a nice little touch. <laughs> it does kind of feel like a weird touch, though. Like, it's just a casual Wiggler just walking around. And he's not even, like, mad. Like, in the Maple Tree way, they kind of make a little sense. Here, they make less sense. You know? I mean, he was in the forest area. And that is where the Wigglers hang out. That's where they're from. The forest. Forest of Illusion, baby. I still think that should be a Mario Kart chorus. Like, the Mar the Forest of Illusion feels like a lost asset to Mario. Like, it should be a Mario Kart chorus that's, like, mystifying and wild. And I guess Maple Treeway is, like, a form of that. But they could do better. They could do more, I should say. We have two stadium courses in the form of Summit and this. And this looks sick. I like War... I like Waluigi Stadium. Um, in Double Dash proper, but it didn't end up on my list, on my favorite Mario Kart's list, my favorite Mario Kart courses list. This looks really good though, holy shit, look at this dirt, look at this wet dirt. Doing some motorsports, this actually looked really nice. They have done Waluigi justice in both courses in this game. Hands down. This definitely looks like something made from a different era though than the game that it was like originally made. Like this looks much nicer graphically than the courses from any of the other courses in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> like this is a nice looking course, which is like something I could say for a couple of the courses in uh, this DLC circuit are these DLC circuits, like the Rainbow Road they brought in from 7 does not look like it belongs in the regular game proper. It looks like something out of a different game entirely. But like this, this kind of looks a lot better than everything else from 8. And it's because they've got these nice looking textures that I don't think they were working with when they were porting this game to the Switch originally, or making this game for the Switch originally, I should say. But like, this is definitely a step and above visually what I think the original game had going on in a lot of regards. Oh no. I also think they should have a WarioWare stage in Mario Kart. How cool would that be? You can actually tell I'm having some, uh, some, like, visual stuttering going on. Like, on my capture card. It's not going on on my TV. But, like, the top part of my capture, which is something that happened when I played, like, Elden Ring. Like, why the fuck is this happening with Mario Kart, of all things? You know? Oh, uh, no. I was trying to make it hit that banana. That didn't happen. That's okay. Nice. Give me that jump. Hell yeah. Get lost. Sweet jump. That's a win. Boom. It doesn't help that I've been playing F-Zero a lot. So I've got that like racing mindset in mind. That need for speed, if you will. But not need for speed. I'm not playing a need for speed game for a while. Let me tell you. I know, let me tell them. The last course, Singapore Speedway.
Then I'm gonna do that Yoshi circuit in versus mode, or in like a time trial. Sorry, I had like a lot of notifications going off on my phone and it kind of took my attention for like two seconds. Ooh, we got a little cannon, this is cool. We got a cannon course on the one, and we have a cannon course on this one, but it's like the opposite. Can of course on this one's like in a s nice swimming pool area. We got like a tennis court. This is a cool level. I never know what to expect with these tour levels, man. Let's see. Are we going somewhere else? It looks like we're going somewhere else now. DK, what are you doing, man? <laughs> the music sounds hilarious, though. See a loser! It just crashes into a wall. Oh, where am I going? Had no clue. Again, I like the music here, though. Fine. It's not fine. I didn't go through the water. Oh man. Okay, we're fine. Oh, this is one big course. What? Or just the third lap is in a completely different area? Whoa! This is actually kind of cool. I don't know shit about Singapore. I'll be honest. This is a cool looking course though. It's got a lot of cool ideas too. I like these like balloon boosting areas or like a uh, glider boosting areas. I like these jumps. I like a lot of the the circumnavigating around this course. This is a cool course. This is a cool looking level. Nice. I've been saved by the shell. Oh, it was a bad idea. I think I'm still doing alright, though. Because I won. That was cool. Alright, now we're going to be Yoshi. When we do the Yoshi Circuit Secret. Because I want to be... I want to get the Yoshi Island experience, you know? I want to play Yoshi Island with Yoshi, essentially. Then, um, I'm gonna take an actual fiber, use the restroom, actually check on Mac, and then we're gonna start up Paper Mario. We've done both new cups. Little DLC dive in the Mario Day stream. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do time trials. Uh, we're just gonna be green Yoshi. We're gonna pick a Yoshi cart. Uh, what is a Yoshi cart? That isn't a Yoshi cart. I guess this would be that. Uh, excuse me, that was gross. Uh, um, and then I will do... I'll keep the, that. We only got two more waves. I really want to get that uh that secret. I want to I want to see that in full effect. I guarantee you there's something there with that. There has to be.
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna do it in a regular race. I'm not gonna do it in a time trial because I don't know if that's gonna affect it at all. Also, I hate the bikes in Mario Kart. <laughs> I think that they're not my favorite mode of transportation. Versus race. We are still going to be Yoshi. But we are going to pick a Yoshi cart. Thing is fast as hell, dude. Uh, 100 CC. Choose. Uh, we will have all the items on, and we will do Yoshi's Island. This is a cool level. I'm trying to think of like other things. What if they put Excite Bike Racer into this? Because Excite Bike's in this game. How hilarious would that be? I didn't even realize that it was the start sound. What? I did not recognize that the first time, or I did not realize that the first time, that it's actually like the startup music, or the startup jingle from that game. Oh, this course just keeps, it's the gift that keeps on giving, man. So many goodies. Kind of a little frame droppage there, it sucks. Oh, man. Oh, no! I knew that was gonna happen, too. I should have not let that happen. You know what the birds kind of look like? With this? You guys ever seen that, uh, animated special? Animated, uh, holiday special from the... I think it was the 2000s. All of the other reindeer. That's what the birds look like in this. Damn it. Oh, wait! Somebody hit it! Oh, shit! Oh, man. I want to see that. I want to ride that. How do you activate it? I'm so confused. Now that it's activated, will it stay activated, or do I need to reactivate it? Probably need to reactivate it. Nintendo did not have to go this hard on this level, but I'm glad that they did. I'm glad, I'm, I like, honestly, as a fan of Mario Kart, I'm glad that they've done this. I don't know if I've ever actually said that. I do think it's weird that we don't get, like, a new Mario Kart and said that we get this, but, like. Damn it. I just suck at hitting that thing. Or do I need, like, an item? That's what I'm confused about. Somebody else activated it! Damn it. This sucks. This card's actually kind of nice, though. I'm experimenting on Mario Kart, which I don't do often. I know what I like and I stick with it. Oh, jeez. Is that why I keep getting bombs in first place? So that way I can still hit the thing? That's gotta be it, man. I'd like to not get hit by 30 shells, please. I only got two stars. This is tragic. I've got nerd coins, and now I've got none. I'm gonna see this through, man. Oh, damn it. I wanna see this through. I do, I wanna see it through, buddy. I know. Uh -huh. 
Actually, hold on. Let's go back. Let's get rid of this. Let's get rid of this and that. I want to ensure in this that I get something to hit that stupid cloud with. Don't mind me just boosting through. Bye, baby Luigi. You know what I wish, though? I wish the Yoshi's Island series had better, more better sequels. Like, I haven't played every sequel to a um, Yoshi's Island game, but I have played Yoshi's Island DS. I don't like Yoshi's Story really all that much. I have it. I like it more than Yoshi's Island DS, but I wouldn't say that, like, damn it, that was rough, dude. I wouldn't say that, like, it's the best sequel to a platformer I've played. It's got cool ideas. But it kind of has, like, this problem of giving you, like, a lot without much to do with all of those tools. Which I would argue that's, like, a problem with some parts of the Mario series as a whole. Like, Mario games love to give you a lot of tools, uh, some of which are only really applicable in, like, niche scenarios. So, like, they'll take up part of your... Uh, proverbial stockpile. I got it. You just gotta drive into it. And we did it. All right, now now we can now we can play something else. <laughs> now I can take my break, check on my cat, and start up uh, Paper Mario. Which I will be playing on the Switch, because I do not have a physical copy of it. Nice. Hell yeah. Kind of went into today. Not knowing what I was really gonna do, but I'm, I'm cool with this. Let's do it one more time. Never mind, we will not do it one more time. That's a really cool little thing, though. Like hitting that gets you the the, the ending, or like the 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 flower roulette. That's really cool. Ah. I love that. So good. All right, I will be back in a, in a real fiver, and we're gonna start uh, start up Paper Mario when I get back. Let's do it to it, my dudes. It is Paper Mario time. Edit. We are going to be playing Paper Mario. Paper Mario. Paper Mario. For the first time. Never played Paper Mario 1, and I'm excited.
Star spreads and good wishes. Far, far away beyond the sky. Way above the clouds. It's been said that there's a haven where the stars live. In the sanctuary of Star Haven, there rests a fabled treasure called the Star Rod, which has the power to grant all wishes. Using this wondrous Star Rod and the seven star spirits watched over our peaceful world. Carefully, very carefully. And then... Oh dear, what the... Who stuck that weird thing into the story? Ha ha ha, yeah, I did. Wah ha 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 ha. So I can at long last be my arch enemy Mario. I'll take this star rod. So Bowser's the bad guy in this one. Okay. Kami Koopa. So like, I recognize some of these characters obviously from the sequel, but... I didn't realize that he was the bad guy in the first game. That's kind of cool. Because even in Mario RPG, Bowser's not the bad guy. Bowser joins your team in Mario RPG. And it feels like kind of Bowser's always kind of one-upped in the RPG series. Like, yeah, there's like, he's the, the set piece in one of the RPGs uh, that I haven't played. But... I, uh... I didn't know... I don't know anything about this game, so... Paper Mario! Excuse me. We are going to be... Rack! It's me. Yep. Let's do it. Mail call! Hey Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. <laughs> That's not a good Luigi at all. I'll read it to you, okay? That's that's Mario. I I can't do Luigi's voice. Ouija time. He's got like a little nasally. I'm throwing a cat party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I'll be honored if you could both attend. Many guests from the distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you there soon. Sincerely, Peach. This was an interesting idea. Like, I'm amazed that this is an N64 game. I'm also going to Snapchat Evan and tell him that I'm playing this. Him and Shake. That would happen. Oh my god, I just took two Snapchats of the same thing. Jesus Christ. Uh, boom, then I'll just make that that. Boom, busy bam, busy bop. Okay. What a magnificent castle! That's still not good. A shake just texted me. Of course, Mario Party's on sale today. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, oh yeah, I didn't even check to see what Mario games were on sale. That's whatever. I'm I'm broke anyway. Such a generous and wonderful lady, just as I was told. It was worth coming to visit. Mario, please come visit us in the Shiver region someday. I'm guessing we're going to be going to these places. <laughs> I also sent that to Rachel. She just sent me, what's that? Paper Mario for the N64. Salutations, Mario. Do you know Frosty here? 
He has come all the way from the shiver. Oh, frosty shiver. Ha ha ha. Clever. Nice writing there, you smart people. Appetite, there's so much good food here. I already ate way too much. I'm taking a little breather. <laughs> okay. Please enjoy the party, okay? I like that they got the, um... Mario 64 Peach's Castle music. Uh, of course it doesn't seem to open. Of course. She's been restless. Aw. Alright, let's go let's go walk around up here. Oh wait, what the hell? Like it's crazy to me that this is happening on N64. <laughs> it's just cool, man. Ooh. Mauser? Come from Dry Dry Desert, of course. Dry Dry Outpost. What are you doing? She isn't there at the moment. Oh, that's not good. Koopa Village, just down the road from here. Oh, you're the mayor of Shiver City, okay. This feels like a time-sensitive text. Because Shake was like... Because I originally... What I was going to do today... Is I was going to play some Mario Kart. I was going to play some Dr. Mario. And then I was going to play some... Um, Mario Party with Shake. If he was free. And uh, he's not. He's 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 busy. But I guess uh, Mario, Mario Party is on sale today. And I was like, well, of course it is. Because it's Mario Day. This is like a remix of the Peach's Castle theme. It's kind of cool. Let's go see Peach. This looks really cool for an N64 game, man. I'm, I really dig this. You came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. One thing that, like, I will, I will agree... It'll be interesting to, to, like, see in a full movie scale. But, like, in the Mario movie, Anya Taylor-Joy doesn't do a bad job. It's just so jarring to see, like, an actual voice come out of Peach. I love it. I'm just, like, it's such a jarring shock. You know, it was the same when hearing Chris Pratt as Mario for the first time. Like, there was, like, an uncanny valley where it was, like, that just sounds like a guy. Like... While Luigi's also kind of cartoonish, he's got a little more going on because he's kind of fearful. Charlie Day kind of matches that energy. Like, that's a casting that makes sense. Jack Black as Bowser, I thought was going to be weird. He sounded awesome in that first trailer. I haven't watched... Um, I've watched the, the trailer, the, the, the one that, like, the story trailer, and then I watched the teaser. If they've done any other trailers, I have not watched those. Oh, shit. We're getting airlifted the fuck out of here. Dude just straight up stole Peach's castle. What is this, Mario RPG? Legend of the Seven Stars? But in reverse? Kind of. Not really, though. No, because the sword and then it goes up. Yeah.
That's because we're in space, motherfuckers. Long time no- Long time no see, Princess Peach! <laughs> Bowser! <laughs> like, obviously, a movie of that- Like, I understand why Chris Pratt and Anya Taylor-Joy did, like, more, like, normal-ass- Like, they tapped into a character, but they gave them their own character. Because, like, a, a whole movie of that would have just not been it, Chief. You know, you can make Bowser- into like a more believable realm a little bit easier because he's already like a, a reptile guy so like he's gonna have a little bit of cartoonishness and he's like the villain but like i don't know i understand why they did it is still kind of weird that like charles martinet wasn't even like given the chance or he may have been but like i don't know I would, I would pay to see a Mario movie with him as Mario. You know? I guess people could say the same thing about, like... I can do it. That was a weird transition of this battle. Like, the, the music was just kind of... There was no transition to the music. It was just the same song. I do like the music, though. Good old Mario, or is fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today, your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. He's got the star on. Why'd you go to, why'd you go to Kirby's place? This fine piece of work has given the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the star rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. What the hell? Now you're all glowy. You're a glow- I accidentally left exited chat. Ooh. That's not good. We gotta go. I'm not gonna do any damage to him. Yeah. How sad. You best take some vitamins because that didn't hurt at all. Damn. The disrespect, man. I've gotta jump on him again. I've gotta just lose this fight. This is an auto loss. This is, I suspected Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. I need to end this. Here we go. Good night. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oof! <laughs> oh, no! Everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. So he literally just wished to be stronger than Mario. Get rid of me for good? I might as well get rid of you for good. What dramatics? I'm here for it. Let's go N64. Like, that's the thing. I like RPGs a lot. And I think it's telling that, like, for as much as I love RPGs, I just don't play them all, all that much. And it's because, like, while I did play, like, Sega RPGs, the Nintendo consoles I played... Prologue, a plea from the stars. So we've beaten the prologue. Or no, now we're in the prologue. That was the title intro. A fight with Bowser that we lost. Very Super Mario RPG-esque. Kind of. <laughs> oh, those are seven stars. <laughs> I just, I counted them really quick. He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. As a star, he's mightier than Mario. It's true. It's hopeless. 
It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope. Now, our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. Spit on him. Spit on him with your star spit. That's it now. That's, that's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Oh, no! <laughs> this guy shit himself. Yeah, it was me. It, found like, it sounded like something fell. Yeah, because I fell from the stars. It's a star man! His name's Mario. This red shirt, this hat, this mustache, you know. I, yeah, I think I am the one and only Mario. That's one thing I do like about this series. And I didn't know if that was going to be a thing in this. I thought it was just because it was the sequel that, like, Mario had a reputation. But I like that even in this game, Mario's got, like, an established reputation as, like, a hero among people. The, the real Mario... Well, yes, it is the real Mario. I won't wake up. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Goompa Goombario. Goompa Goombario. Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. I had him. He had a little more of like a, an upper register to his voice. Mario, I need to have you come to the Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. What? <laughs> hey, Mario! Hey, you pooped everywhere! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days- I've been asleep for days? I mean, I did fall from space. This place, this is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas are in the family. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. See, like, it, that's... I'm assuming that's how Keegan-Michael Key's really gonna do his toad. He's gonna be, like, a, like a casual... Casually... Casually chaotic. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. I can't read. A star with a mustache... You're saying a star told you to go to the Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that, and I'm sure you didn't. And I sure didn't see anyone coming or out of this house. I... I... I think you're dying, Mario. Maybe. Although, maybe not. <laughs> you could just be stupid. Could have been some sort of metro for Star Spirit. It could have been they live in Star Haven. Shooting Star Summit is our nearest place to Star Haven, so that would make sense. Who knows? In any case, I'm glad to see you recovered. The Goombas would be happy to pay him a visit. Yeah, I'll go pay him a visit. Let's get the hell out of here. You were worried about me because I was, yeah, I was, I was probably almost dead. I got my ass kicked, dude. Oh, Mario! Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. <laughs> Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? Aren't they sweet? Especially the little Goomaria. Well, she looks just like I did when I was young. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to do that kind of voice, man. 
You've awakened at last. There's so many old people you talked to in the beginning of this game. The groom, groom grandfather. <laughs> Busy fixing the veranda. I don't give a shit about your story. My veranda's fucked up. And I I'm, I got I gotta deal with this, okay? Well, let's save it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll save it. Nice. I am feeling better. Yeah, I have to leave right now. The home of Princess Peach's Castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summit is just beyond there. Well, thanks! Yeah, I, I appreciate you guys, you know, coming by. Oh! All of those voices finally got some mucus out of me. I was choking a little bit. Uh, well, believe it. <laughs> Weird. You rude little. <laughs> I am a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Cammy Koopa. Yeah. She was a cool character in the second game. She was a character in the second game. I don't think she was a cool character, but she was a character in the second game. She was a fun side bit to Bowser's adventure in, uh, in Thousand Year Door. It's also weird playing this game second after playing that, because I know that like a lot of people, oh, she broke the, the gate, you asshole. Whose world is this? The world is yours. It's yours, it's yours, it's yours. <laughs> I just fixed that gate. Nobody's saying gate to me. Candy Koopa, that fiend! Did you hear what she said about the princess? <laughs> I would be so mad if I was him. Yeah, now I've got to go, uh, now I've got to go the other way around. I got to save the princess. I have to save the princess, man. What's your idea? Where's the hammer at? Oh, yeah, I got to get him to, I got to go ask him for the veranda hammer, I guess. The veranda hammer. Can we call it that? The veranda fixing hammer. Whoa! Whoa! Okay, I thought the game just didn't load that for a second because of the like the emulation. I genuinely got tripped with it. That was funny as hell. That was really that was a good cartoon bit. And then he like fell down like paper. That was really cool. That was cute. <laughs> oh, now I've got to get back up with the hammer. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I did. Gassy guy. Well, give me your hammer and I can break it. Shouldn't be here. It's a problem for us. Yeah, but you have the hammer. Yeah. I know. Oh, I've got to find it. Yeah, uh, I got you. Is it behind this tree? It is not behind the tree. Is it over here? Did it somehow get over here? Okay, yeah, it is. This is a nice way to introduce the search mechanic. Maybe we got a coin. Got another coin. Hey, we're in Coin Town. Coin City. Nothing. There it is. I found the hammer. Mario can do the hammer attack now. I can also smash the yellow blocks. Cool. Hey, 
That was a nice effect for the N64. I see, I keep having to contextualize that in my mind. That this is like an N64 game. Because this is not a game from my childhood. As a guy who played a lot of N64, I definitely never played this game. But I also didn't play many RPGs from Nintendo in this era. Like, the only RPGs I played when I was playing the N64 was, like, Final Fantasy VIII. Because we had the demo of it on the Pizza Hut demo disc. Um... What else? Fantasy Star Online. On the Dreamcast. <laughs> this is my playground, idiot! Nobody sets foot in here without my permission. Nobody. Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Troopa. Who the hell are you? He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a bully, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. Okay. Boost yourself up. Don't take any lip. You'll stay behind me and watch my progress. That's funny as hell. So they don't have, like, the, the moves and stuff. They don't have, like, the, uh, the, the special ways to use the items. They just kind of use them. But I know that they have, like, the, the reaction buttons with the moves because it's, a uh, it's, like, a core component of this series. Can I just, I don't know what I have to hit. I almost got him. Keep it up going. Nice. Special attack. Full power. Not two damage. So that's just how they mark experience in this game. Okay. You got star points. You get star points every time you meet an enemy. 100 star points. You go up a level. It's 20. 20 star points, nice. You weren't winning. You were losing. <laughs> I mean it, I'll be back. That was, a, that was a nice little moment. Give me that coin. Nice. Now I can't break this. That's That's for later. I like how it like shakes the paper. That's a cool little, that's a cool, there's a lot of cool visual effects for this. They just, I, I think are really nice. They definitely pushed the hardware. I could, I could tell that like the N64, this would be a workhorse for that console, but like, it's awesome. Give me that fire flower. I got an item. I can use him in the battles. Goombas ahead, they're loyal to Bowser. Okay. You aren't wrong about that. Yeah, we're doing tutorial land. I did not attack first. It's fine. The music's really good, though. Hey, we got two star points. Look at that. Hey, I got first strike. Let's go. Yeah, I figured I shouldn't jump on him as I go to jump on him. They haven't introduced that mechanic yet. I'm just getting the timing down. I'm trying to get the timing down. The window down now. So that way when it comes time to do it, it's not going to be a problem for me. Got first strike, baby. Get rocked, Goomba, dude. I also like how hammer in this does not cost any energy. Although I don't think it does in the original, the more that I think about it. Give me that revive! Damn it. Or 
Or is that just a star piece? Am I an idiot? I'm thinking of Pokemon. Yeah, it's just a star piece. <laughs> Wait, what is this for? I don't know. We'll find out. It's fine. I'll just not take Hammer won't reach the enemies in the air. I gotta jump on them! Get knocked down, dude. Get knocked down, dude. It's okay. Nice, and we got some health. Thanks to young Mario here, I made it back all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, we fell. You're really worried. Hey, I saved him, it's okay. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. I don't remember any of these voices. And I'm not going to, because I'm probably not going to be back into this area anytime soon. I'm one guy. My vocal cords can only do so many things. Oh, he's going to get me something. I'm always seen to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study self-defense by reading books by the masters and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show, too. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now, teehee. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Goombario. You're embarrassing me. Of course it is true. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goomba. We're just rapping with Mario. You're not rapping. I know a thing or two about rapping, and you're not doing that. Got the power jump badge. So now we can do a better stomp. Do a power jump, which means you'll do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'll better try it first, putting badges on and taking them off as a vital skill. No, I have played Mario the Thousand Year Door. No. Yuma, you're taking it upon yourself to try and rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. I am. I kind of almost died before I got here by Bowser's hand, but you know. Thanks for the hammer, Goompa! I mean, I'm excited to do it, to be honest. I think it'll be a good time. Here's an idea, Goombario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You're no longer a child. Oh, I get him to come with- I mean, that makes sense. They did just talk about his attack. Yeah, he can come with me. That's cool with me. You guys just- Telling me to take this kid with me. I definitely, I definitely think that's okay to do. Yeah, for sure. Goombario is in my party. Have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. I realize I should probably just get closer. He can attack with head bonk or tell you about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. That's cool. So he's kind of like the Goomba from the Thousand Year Door, just a little bit different. That's cool. About time for a nap. Yeah. 
Yeah, let me get let me get a rest up at the toad house. I didn't want to do this. I just wanted to jump, please, and thank you. Let me rest, please. Yes, I want to take a nap, please. He goes in my pocket. That's adorable. Let's ski that all out of here now. Let's go save it again. Now that we're getting out of Tutorial Village. Bust the block down. Yeah. Thanks. I'll do my best. Okay, guys. Thank you for letting me know that I did not put this badge on. Thank you. I'm putting it on now. It is now on. I can now do the power stomp. <laughs> oh, man. You can change the order we attack with Z. Okay. That's kind of cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and do this. Just knock this dude out one shot. Hit him with that. And then let's just do a regular jump on him because you already got some damage on him. I just let him come to me. One shot him again. Hit him with a one-two shot. No shot, buddy. Hit him with one of these. Boom. Nice. We are on the long road to our first level up. <laughs> take all of your treasures that you have to bestow upon me. Damn it. Nice! Did not think that was going to work. Nice. I don't have enough FP for that! That's fine, I'll shoot this. And then you will take out that. That Goomba. Nice! Hit him with another BAM. Perfect. Got six little star points. Ooh, nice. They give me some flower points back. Now I can do a little stompy dude. Spike stompy dude again. And I got first strike. Get out of my face, dude. Just one of these. BAM. Give me that close call badge. Yes! Can I equip that? I can. Yes! Ah, damn it, I missed. I missed, and that's okay. I'm gonna do a one hit kill on this dude. He is dead in the air. And then he's gonna get a little head bonk. Let's go. Let's 
Let's go. Got nine star points. I'm gonna die soon. That is not okay. I need some health badly. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'll use that mushroom. Damn. I didn't expect that to, like, actually give me something. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Oh, damn. Well, now I don't need that? I mean, I might as well take the full heal. Oh, and it gives me flower points, too. Yeah, that's a good recharge. Suspicious guy? Who's the suspicious guy? I'm not suspicious. Can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from the Goomba King. Goomba King? The Goomba Bros? Red and blue? That's my outfit. Blue Goomba, red Goomba. Let's do it. Let's let's square up. Let's fight. You little dinguses. Get a little hammer to the face. Uh. Blue Goomba. His HP is six. Okay. Uh, let's hit him with a hammer. Oh, I have to attack them in this order. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. At least we got 10. Oh, now he's gonna be mad. Is that, is that what that is? No, man. That sucks. Give him a head bonk. And then... He just does a lot of damage. Nice. And that's it. We are close to death, man. Although I feel like this is engineered in a way to like get you your first real level up in this area. Like this again, still feels like just kind of extended tutorial stuff. Cause it's all just like the first circuit, you know? Like it's all about, I got my first companion, you know? Oh, there's a save point down here. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do at all. Actually, hold on, let's go back here and save it real quick or get a full heal real quick. And then we'll go save it. And then we'll go to the new place. Is this gonna give me another mushroom? Nope, it's gonna be a bozo enemy. We gotta go! Mario beat us up. Yeah, I did. I stomped your faces in with a hammer. Yeah, there was. The bridge got destroyed. <laughs> What's going on? Oh. Oh, it's the Goomba. Oh, it's that guy! From Mario 64 DS. He's from this game? I did not know that. Wow. Hold on one, one second guys, hold on.
That's insane, though. I had no idea he was from this game. That's really cool. I just had to go chase Mac around for a little bit. Hey, he is again. He was talking a lot. So I was just running around with him for a little bit. I am ready to reach and meet your wrath, buddy. Uh, excuse me. Like I vaulted up. And then I just started chasing him around. He's running with me. Jesus Christ, man. He's a low ball of energy. I also, full disclosure, have not been feeling great the last couple of days. That was the most active I've been in like, in like a quick succession in a minute. He's got two HP, that's it. I should use my tattle ability on that guy. So I'm just gonna power jump on him. Get three damage down. I'm gonna tattle. Or no, I'm gonna head bonk the one in the back first. He's really big. He's really powerful. Oh, his HP is 10. That's it? That's easy. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that's not good. Uh. Shit. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. Shit. Miss. Miss your attack. Come on. Damn it, we lost.
so we know he's got 10 HP. Can't believe I got a game over on King Goomba. Granted, I was doing a lot of... I did like a sprint, essentially. Like a full sprint for a little while. Jesus Christ. It worked, though. He's calmed the fuck down now. <laughs> And after I'm done streaming, I'll just go hang out with him for a little bit. Whew. Or I'll let him come in here and hang out with me. Because I'm just going to be editing. I'm going to be editing uh, Saturdays and Mondays videos. Do it. Let's just beat him. Let's beat his ass. So I do know that he is. He just has 10 HP. So they hit him twice with this. I should just use him to pick off the other ones, to be honest. Because that's a lot of damage I'm going to be taking. I'm taking four damage off the rip. <clears throat> that's not good. I'm going to go ahead and just funnel a shot at this guy. Sucks, dude. Oh, thank God. That's it. I should have just funneled all my attacks at him. Oh, jeez. I've got to get lucky. I'm not lucky! That sucks. How am I fucking up so aggressively on these guys? I'm not spreading my, uh, my attacks out enough. skip this cutscene. Oh, I can do this. <laughs> I don't need to do that, but I can. Let's just speed through this. Now, will this be replacing G <clears throat> GTA? Yes. <laughs> I'm going to try and do both. But honestly, I think I just don't like GTA that much. I like GTA, but like by myself, it's just not as fun, man. Like, it's an interesting world. It's fun like to do every once in a while, but it's not a game that I want to keep playing for an extended period of time. It's like a buffer game while I play something else. I'm going to spread out his attacks across the other ones. So that way... I take less damage net each progressive turn after this point.
now I'm just taking two damage instead of three damage. Yeah, I should have been doing this to begin with, man. Because now I'm just going to take one damage. That'll do it. We got 30 star points and a level up. Uh, we will up our badge points. That's three badge points. That's a good. That's a good amount. How could I lose? Nice. Red Kumba, you're positive you hit the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hit it in the grass inside of the fortress. Yeah, let's hit that real quick. <laughs> Good fighting all that. I must warn you, however, if you happen to find a strange shit somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, you understand? You you already pressed it! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's so good. This is incredible. I really, I like what this has going on. That was the bridge. Also, I loved all of that. The N64 sleigh. Let's cross it. Is there a star piece in here? There's not. You just watched and let that happen? Cammy, you're fucking up. I would love to save and continue. Now, I'm torn as to if I should put this in the playing the N64 library because I don't own this game physically. I'm going to be emulating this game. But I still feel like it should go in that playlist, you know? <laughs> I used Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. Yeah! Because I'm Mario, dude. <laughs> Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter because while you hold the star ride, you were definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. I don't know about that. You can keep gassing him up, but I think I'm going to beat his ass. I love how he's, like, addressing how I'm going to beat him right now. That's hilarious. The Cooper Bros. Fortress. Oh, I- he is worried. He is deservedly worried. The Koopa Bros? Excuse me? Get real, King Bowser. The Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. 
we're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we could put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent, that's the spirit. Sell it, Koopa Bros. Show our king that special attack you do so well. Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? And then you don't get to fucking see it. This is all. It's still gonna be a smack in the face. You know who should make a Mario game? Treasure. The, like, the... The developer company that did like mischief makers and shit i feel like they should do a mario game it'd be interesting to see them try we'll take him king bowser i'm about the captured star spirit i've locked up in your fortress who's guarding him right now uh nobody sir you know we're here and so use your heads get back to the fortress and guard that star spirit i don't want him to beat my ass That was cute. That was fun. That was a fun little little cutscene. I expected stuff like that though, because like Thousand Year Door had some good funny moments. Sleepy sleep. I'm assuming that puts enemies to sleep. Wonder what this could be. The treasure chest. Hammer throw badge. Ooh. You know we're equipping that right now. Cost two, not a problem. I've got the power of badges. We're in Toad Town. I'm so glad you're okay. The town is in uproar. The princess is kidnapped. The very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I don't know what we can do all about this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Go back to our house. Where Luigi is just singing a tune. I want to know what my brother Mario is doing right now. What up, bitch? <laughs> it's, I was literally just thinking about you. I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. Good for you. <laughs> Goombario, nice to meet you. <laughs> That's funny. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. See, someone has to look out of this house, so I can't leave. Oh well. Take care, Mario, okay? Alright, well, I'm gonna take a nap in my house. If I can. I can, okay. Yeah, I want to take a nap in my house. Always take a nap at home when you're there. You'll feel better after you do. Uh, excuse me. It's so empty right now. So I've earned 41 coins. I've gotten 3 out of 80 badges. There's 160 star pieces. About half my battles have had first strikes. Sorry, my jaw kind of hurts right now. It feels kind of tight. I'm trying to like unhinge and rest my jaw. That burp kind of came out of nowhere. Toad Rust Tea. Pleasure to meet you. I love books. I read all the time. I'm a knowledge. Happy to share my knowledge with you. Thanks. Can I not climb this ladder? I don't think I can. That's fine, let's just leave. Oh, is this a shop? I do need to come here. Because I want a fire flower. Yes. And I want a mushroom. I will actually take two. Right jar, I will take it. I will also take this. Just get stocked up on items real quick. I can carry it to ten items. Good thing I stopped buying when I did. Can I 
hit this? I cannot hit that. So, oh, their master is like out. So we gotta go like find him maybe? Okay. So go past this gate. Oh, there's another shop over here? Shit. I didn't need to drink that! I wasted $10! And there's a save here! I'm upset. What the hell's going on here? I don't want to take a nap. I just took a nap in my house. We gotta, we don't get to go that way. Oh my gosh, come on. Then we just gotta go right over here. Oh wait, what do you what do you have to say? That's a shame. Can I not go up here? <laughs> I was like, what the hell? Hey, excuse me? It told me to take a right here. It did. Oh, here we are. This is a cool transition. This is like scrolling and stuff. It just looks really nice. Like for as for as great as I think the N64 is, there were a handful of like opportunities that it just never really seized as far as like what it could do. Like doing cinematic stuff like this happened, but I feel like it was in limited quantities, you know. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting. Welcome, Mario. We've been waiting for you. We're the seven star spirits. That is the song from Mario Party 1. Yeah, when you're like selecting a level. Grant wishes of good people from our home in Star Haven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful Star Haven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we've cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes for, like, instance. I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Peach at oh. all. You want Peach to like you? Stars ignores its selfish wishes. This is all the wishes were never granted. Interesting. Bowser, that fiend, when he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the Star Rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems like he seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he will wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It's a responsibility to save the Star to keep the Star Rod saved properly. We should go get Star Rod back and Bowser and return to the rightful place. And we'll do this tomorrow. We need your help. Sadly. Right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by making wishes with the Star Rod. He is terrible to behold. Once seven Star Spirits are reunited in Star Haven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser, even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're only there beside you. It is only an illusion. We're all using our strength to communicate with you over a great distance, but even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and are being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario, first of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. I like the static effect. That's really cool. It's a nice, like, illustration of... 
ghostly projection. Princess is going to be all right. I don't know. F frankly, I have no idea. I'm assuming that was the end of the first chapter. Or not. Marvin is probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody can help me. Hey! <laughs> you doing this fine day? So he's waiting for Mario to summon you. We're so high above the sky right now. Even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Prince, as long as I have the star, no one in the Mushroom King can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine. Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Without their wishes being granted, how many people are making wishes on the daily? How shitty is it that they need to wish every day? If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me. I grant wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. You can take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. What an interesting, like, subplot with Bowser. Like, as to why he's actually gotten Peach this time. <laughs> if only somebody could help me. <laughs> huh? Let me in, you friggin' crazy lady! Pleased to meet you. My name is Twink. You're Star Kid. How'd you get here? Star Haven to grant your wish. It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's cool. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take the Star Road back from Bowser. Okay, I think you can do it. Ah. Uh, I can't do that. I'm just a little star. Honorable star spirits must try from grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy. Something a small star can do. I can't grant that wish either. Can't do big wishes yet. I'm more splendid star. Maybe I could actually help. Yeah, don't be sad. At least you want to help. Yeah, Mario's on his way. Listen. As long as Mario's on his way, we'll be fine. What are you gonna give me? A star necklace? Okay. Let's go get the star necklace. Can I also do what? Tell Mario what? So, like, I will say, it's interesting that, like, what the Thousand Year Door did as a sequel that this is also doing. Like, having this Peach plot where Peach kind of indirectly communicates with Mario. Um, Bowser's plot doing his own thing. You just only play as Mario, it looks like. Ouch! Oh shit, you found me. I am Mario, you're right. Hi, Twink. What do you got from Peach? Ah, oh, it's a nice necklace. Thanks. I can use an action command. Uh, no. No. I know what I'm doing. Oh, it's a regular Magic Koopa. Were you following me? Damn. If you defeat Mario, you'll be famous. You'll tell Kami Koopa and you'll get a raise. Come on, dude. You think you're gonna beat me? Go ahead and just do a hammer throw. 
Oh, it does have this. That's cool. That is the action command thing. That's a lot of damage, damn. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it was so easy, dude. I am as strong as they say. Of course I'll beat Bowser eventually. See you later. Oh, what now? Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm actually kind of hungry, I'm not gonna lie. I'm excited to eat a little bit of food after I finish this stream up. Back to back, <laughs> what a brave little guy. <laughs> yeah, they gotta keep the peach plot somehow, you know? go save it in the village. Oh! He's got something to say to me. Merlin was looking for me, the house with the spinning roof. I was rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has vi visitors, it's rare for him to come out of his house at all. Okay, so I gotta go to the house with the spinning thing? Let's save it again. Oh, this place. You got it. Merlin is out. Where is he at? That's cool. Ralph's the name. I'm starting a little business in Toad Town. Yeah, I'll see you when you open. I'll be back. I love supporting my local businesses. The hell? That sucks. What a nice natural roadblock, though. To show the evolution of the world across the story. You know what I'm saying? Can ask Merlin for help. But I don't know where he's at. It says Merlin's out. That looks like a gate to somewhere. Minty. That's that's cute. Get bubble up seeds. Oh yeah, sure, I'll get those. I'll get those for you. No, I don't want to do this. Oh shit, oh I had to go I had to knock again. That face seems very familiar to me. It must be. You're Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier while well, you're here now. Come in. I think I might wrap it at 2 instead of uh, 2.30. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important and it concerns you. Before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It was a very long story, but I will try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared and I, standing face to face. Then the far faraway, the pious, was raised. Raised me up. Was amazing. I was still so young then. I believed in... But our hearts were. And then so. He's just gonna keep talking. Like a lot. And that is all that matters. <laughs> huh? Hey! Mario! Are you listening to me? Oh, alright. So, anyway, that is why I'm able to help you. 
If you get lost during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Yeah, I gotta save Princess Peach. And I gotta go to the Koopa Bros Fortress. I've kind of ascertained that from the story. So, I'm gonna go talk to these guys. A huge mistake, definitely don't go. Most of all, you shouldn't go. Oh, okay, so we have to go. We have to go ask him for help again. We have to go actually ask him for help. I didn't want to do that! So we have to go ask him for this. This is honestly, for the N64, pretty damn cool. No. That's what I had to do. Okay, I gotcha. These are the strange toads, yeah. Don't you, you can't pass. Take off. <laughs> they aren't toads at all. They aren't toads. Come on. Reveal your true selves. Oh. They were the Koopa Bros in disguise. How'd you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green, we retreat for now. None of those imposters. Those imposters are none of the Koopa Bros. Proceed then with their Fortress Hideout! Help from a blue shelled Koopa. Okay, so we have to go to the to Koopa village. Gotcha. Well I'm gonna save it real quick. We'll probably get to Koopa Village. So we're starting chapter one, storming the Koopa Bros Fortress. That's cool. Oh, damn. Nice. That was absolutely the move. Get bonked. Nice. I'm excited to play this. I think this will be a really good time. Damn it. Nice. This is just easy experience that I should be getting, so. Any little bit helps you get stronger faster, you know what I mean? Especially when I don't have much health, so. Ooh. That'd have been bad. I did not get it there, but it's fine. Still got that. Nice. Got a little dizzy attack move. Ooh, a fright jar? Nice. And a pow block. Nice. Shit.
get bonked. Take a little bit of damage, it's fine. Kind of do a power jump to do some damage. Nice! And then this should kill him. And then he's gonna be down. So I'll do a little jump on him again. Easy moves! Hey, give me that bridge. Oh my god! I did not expect that. Holy shit. There's an enemy on there. Fuck. This is not good. Actually, I could do this. Just throw a little fright jar out there. Get scared! coins. I don't have much in the vein of health right now, and I'm not really trying to, like... Get caught up in that at the moment. Oh, nice. Taking a full circle, man. We're doing the Mario 1 trick? And I got the first strike. I will just do... Got both of those dudes. And you've just been bonked. Quick experience. Any health? Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> that had me word for a second. Koopavor's Fortress and Koopa Village. Honey syrup. Nice. Ooh! Came out of the woodwork. I will do one of these. Head bonk. And she's dead! Cool. Got this. Got this going on. Instant death. Another four experience. You're gonna give me some health? You are gonna give me just a little bit of health. Just a smidge of health, man. Hit him with the first strike. You really cannot help me at all. Can't even do items. Oh, this sucks. I'm just gonna throw a power block. Do two damage to everybody. Be done with it. I'm gonna use a mushroom. Ooh, I got two hearts, nice. And we'll use a mushroom. Maybe. Maybe I can't use a mushroom. That sucks. We can't just use items in the overworld. Oh, we gotta use the blue shell from the from the Koopa dude to get access to the thing. So we do have to go back. Go down to Koopa Town. Probably listen to some uh, dialogue. Meet the Koopa. There's also a nice workaround to the N64's graphical palette. You know what I mean? I am Mario! Thanks! I can see what kind of madness is going on. It's honestly kind of sad. Yeah, those guys, the fuzzies. 
They're really naughty. What are they doing wrong? Oh God, they're stealing your shells. Yeah, get back with a shell. That's rude as hell. Get out of here. You fuzzy little bitch. You're welcome. Yeah, I've just got overalls. Get your shell back. You're welcome. Take your shell back. You're welcome. It was made to order, that's kind of cool. Then... You'll give me a star piece? Yeah, I'll try a quiz. Let's go to the question! Question! What is the name of Goombario's... Goombalina? That's not right. Better luck next time. Until we meet again. Are you just gonna vanish now? That sucks. I thought I would have had another shot at that. I was caught, but I was torn between two. Do I have to like eliminate them? Do I have to like destroy these guys? Or are they just a menace that I have to just go walk around town getting everybody the shells back? Nope, you've got your stuff. What about here? Oh, he's got like a chill little house. That's cool. What the hell? Restores three flower points. That's cool. How do I just bonk these dudes? Like, straight up. Like, what do I have to do? Pass to the green roof. Oh, there's more to this village than just this screen. Gotcha. Yeah, there's a lot more. Oh, I've got to get this dude. i got to get him a shell back. What the hell? So it's clear he doesn't leave this circle. Damn. Trying so hard to get him caught. Gotta get him on his grill, man. Oh, I've gotta work with him to like trap him. Maybe. Come on. Let's just go save Cooper. I am Mario. You're psyched to meet me. Yeah, I'll help you out. Yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I already said I wouldn't mind. Yeah, I, I already said I wouldn't mind. <laughs> York! What the hell? He went out back? Oh, this isn't good. I'm following this dude a great distance. Holy crap. Oh, 
always in the tree. Bjork, Bjork! Guess where he's hiding. Easy. Get out of there. There's just a warm up. Easy. Yeah, I got you twice. Now you're serious. Same spot. <laughs> take the take the shell. Give me the shell back. All right, let's go give Cooper a shell back. Oh, he's already here. Okay, well I, I <laughs> we already got the shell back. There you go. Take your shell back. Thanks. I don't know Professor Colorado. Sorry. That's cool. You live next to him. That's cool. Yeah, come with me, man. Yeah, let's go. We got a squad. We got Gumbario and Cooper. We're already getting off to a, a glorious start of this playthrough. So we have to use his shell to get to the, uh, to get to the castle, obviously. You wanna fight me? You dicks! I'm not doing so hot, but it's fine, because I've got mushroom. And then we got power shell. And then they get one health every time they attack me. It sucks. I'm still doing net one damage to him, but still. I'm losing a lot of health every time I do this. Like I'm already not doing hot. Shit. Nice. I missed. Or they missed. They missed too. Nice. Oh, that sucks. How much health do you have, dude? Okay, I was gonna say, damn. Got 12 star points. We're sitting pretty a little bit. New York, no! All right. Cleaned it up. Got Cooper. Got to Koopa Village. And I'd say for that and when I get up when I get my next level up I kind of want to go for health I don't want to go for badge points but that would be the smarter move to go for the badge points what a dilemma but that's a dilemma I'll have to seek next time because I'm gonna call this stream done I feel like this has been a successful Mario day played some Mario 1 Played some Mario Kart, got a little DLC dive, and we got a session of a new game in the books. We're knee deep in chapter one of this game. Actually, I'm gonna save, and then I'm gonna go, um, 
I'm gonna go rest, and then I'm gonna save it, and then I'm gonna call it. Uh, thank you, Jasmine, Cauldron, and Brady for hopping in chat today. Shout out to the Vaughn gang. Hopefully you guys are excited for a new RPG on the channel, on the streams. I'm definitely excited to play this game. This is a cute, cute opening. It's a cute start to a good adventure. Um, I'm gonna go. I've been Viral Rack. You guys have good days, last in situations. And I'll see you another day.